The homeware section in my thrift store is right when you walk in. And of course, I got distracted right away by the, the cutest little duckling things. And then I found this mug that has a scene on it. Um, I'm realizing that I really like scenes on on literally anything. Um, and then I found this cute little cowboy boot vase, which I'm actually now wishing that I got. It's so cute. Oh, my God. And then I found these plates. Um, they were little scenes, of course, of these rolling hills and castles and these experiences. This one has like a little farmer with his sheep on it. So cute. And I was trying to find out where these plates were from. This one was a Norman Rockwell plate. I looked it up and I just really loved the scene of this. It just seems so like, uh, just touched my heart in a different way. I don't know why. And then more of these plates with scenes on them. So cute. I actually kind of wish I got these now. I don't know why I didn't, but I just love how this looks and they are just so cute. And look at this unicorn one. I mean, are you kidding me? It just reminds you of a different time. I just love them. I thought this one was so cute and it just, it's screaming 80s to me. Now we get to the clothing section. This was very spring to me. It was a baby doll shirt with eyelet details. It was a little bit big, but we put it in the cart anyways. Who cares? We'll figure it out. And I love this tube top situation going on in this heather gray color. I feel like it was very Y2K. It was from Express. It looked like maybe early 2010s could have been, but I liked that. So we put it in the cart. And then my local thrift just put out all the bathing suits. I thought this color, I'm like obsessed with this army green color right now. I liked the detailing on it and this red pinup kind of, not pinup, but like, you know, interesting, a little bit vintage style looking red one. I like that. I found matching bottoms, but looking back on the footage, it was, they were clearly not matching. Um, I found this little cute like teacup set from Antigua. I just am a sucker for this brown wash and I thought this set was so cute, so cottagecore. I could bring this to the, like have a little photo shoot with the basket and the porcelain. We're starting off with just the basic t-shirts. I almost never go in this section, but I found this uh, soft and sexy American Eagle shirt, which is one of my favorite brands to thrift. And then I found this plain gray, like slate blue gray color t-shirt. I'm in dire need of basics because I just do not have any or that many, and I need them to kind of make my wardrobe more cohesive. So that's why I'm showing you guys. But these are all a little bit off in coloring from what I normally get. I really loved this one. This was an Aeropostale one and I was an Aeropostale girly back in the day. I love these types of shirts. You know, you got some the person that was on vacation, got this from a souvenir shop. You know, this thing is full of good memories. It's a fiesta. I love those types of shirts. I just like the name of this. Look pretty, play dirty. I thought it was a good uh, slogan if you will and then I found this plain white t-shirt kind of a little bit cropped kind of a little bit boxy nothing to report on this one I just thought it was cute um then we get into some like knits and I really like the black and white contrast on this I love a black and white contrast that is a theme you will find throughout my choices this one I mean look at it <laughs> And then I, th I thought this one was really cute for like, you know, kind of that coastal granddaughter vibe. Here's the black and white contrast again. I love a clean look like that. Here's a poncho. I think that ponchos are going to be huge. I, they're just like a warm blanket. It's amazing. This turtleneck was giving me clean girl vibes through and through. I absolutely loved it. The turtleneck was thick. The texture was interesting. I had to put it in the cart. And I've been looking for a dark blue knit sweater. This wasn't it. It was too faded. I liked the detailing on this one, but this one was also a little bit too faded. The coloring is amazing. I am obsessed with brown and I loved this tag. It was clearly like a little bit older of a brand, which I love finding those gems. Um, this one was, I don't really know why I looked at that one. Maybe it was just cute I guess um and then I found this one which was really good quality and I've been finding a lot of Gap brands at the thrift store lately and I love that brand too this one oh she had to go into the cart immediately look at the detailing on that it is giving mermaid core and I liked this one because it was reminiscent of that Bavarian um print 70s types of vibes and I don't know if it was quite there but I wanted to give it a second to marinate if you know what I mean 
This one was giving psychedelic uh, jungle vibes. I don't know, but I kind of liked it. I was kind of digging it with the colors, but alas, it was too, a little too outdated for me. I liked this one too, but it was just kind of basic and it was definitely faded, so I left it. I loved this little cardigan. It was so cottagecore vibes. I'm very into cottagecore in this butter yellow color. And look at the tiny little knitted flower clusters on there so cute um these were just a regular pair of jeans they were denizen by levi levi's um am i okay right now i don't know um and yeah they were just regular boot cut jeans i thought these were cute because they could go with that aeropostal gray um felt basic t-shirt that i showed you guys earlier and then i just really liked these jeans they were writer's jeans but they were too small so and so were the other felt pocketed jeans and then I loved this but it was H&M and I wasn't sure I wanted to pay $20 for this um it was cute but I didn't know how much use I would actually get out of it and I'm on the fence about this type of fur so I left it um I found this cute cutout DKNY black turtleneck top with the silver thing at the bottom I just love when tops have that and then I am obsessed with plaid of any sort or this like tartan classic plaid so I just had to take a look at it and oh my god look at this skirt is she not the most beautiful thing that you've seen in a while like it was real leather real genuine giving 70s vibes I'm very into Daisy Jones and the Six right now so I have been looking for stuff like this in the cart she went I found this. This was nice. It was a nice material. It's H&M brand and it was um, not too expensive. And I, I don't know. I just I put it in the cart because I liked the idea of wearing a skirt in the springtime, but not it not being too much. You know what I mean? And then I found this gorgeous velvet like lettuce hem. Oh, I guess this is in slow motion mode right now. So enjoy. But um, this lettuce hem like it's giving fairy core it's giving uh 90s fairy core grunge i really liked it it was slightly too big so i ended up leaving it but i enjoyed the details of it and at the top if this would stop being slow motion for a second <laughs> at the top it had this really nice detailing around the waist so and here is just another close up of the detailing on the waist i don't know why i spent so much time on showing this but anyways moving on and then I found this cargo skirt, and I have been looking for a maxi cargo skirt for a while now, and of course this isn't going to focus, but I loved the vibes of this. I loved the waistline and how it was like a thinner waistline. I just thought this one was so precious. It was this velvet, or whatever you want to call it, velour set that was clearly from a different time. Do, does your heart ever hurt for just how cute things were back in the day, but you know you won't wear them? Well, I found this other maxi skirt and it was a kind of like, I don't even know what kind of material that you could call this, but I have been looking for something like this. It's a basic and I love maxi skirts, so I put it in the cart. And then we find this beaut and I, again, a plaid. Plaid is my thing. I love plaid. I know it's not very spring, but I just had to see what this would look like on. This one was so funky and this bright green color is going to be so in or I've been seeing it. It's been catching my eye lately. I found this cute little skirt. Um, I liked it originally, but then it was kind of giving like golf cart girl vibes, which I, I mean, nothing wrong with being a golf cart girl. I just wouldn't want to wear it if I'm not a golf cart girl, if you know what I mean. I thought this was a really cute like oversized sweater for cottage core. It had this really nice embroidery on it and I loved the collar. It was giving vintage vibes, so I put it in the cart. I loved these boots. These were amazing. These were diva boots. However, they were way too small for me. I should have got them and tried to sell them because someone would be so lucky to have these. I loved those. I thought they were such a vibe. And then look at these cute like heart like y2k rain boots and then these were notable mentions of a pretty color boots i don't know what they were um i'm so into bamboo handled bags right now i am so obsessed and and i just love this little silkish animal print scarf that i found in the scarf section 
And then I found these gorgeous disco style shoes, but when I put them on and walked in them, they were not very comfortable. So I'm assuming that's why they were here, unfortunately. We got a good thrift haul today. We are getting straight to the point today. I can't even wait. These finds are so good. I wanted to find a bunch of midi skirts because I've been loving, I'm a long skirt girly now. I love the long skirt trend. I think it's going to be a staple in my wardrobe forever. Now, I have to say that this print is not very like spring per se, but like, I guess you could make it, but it is, it's definitely, I would probably wear it more in the fall, but it is so cute. And it's this plaid midi skirt. And at the bottom, it has these fringes on it, which like, I'm actually not too certain about the fringes because it kind of makes it look like a scarf. But I have to like, I'm gonna put it with some things in the try on and see like how I feel about them. I might cut them off, I don't know. But this is so cute. And look at this tag. Like, it looks like maybe vintage 90s and it was only $7.99. So this was an amazing find. We're gonna see how we can put this together. Thumbnail. Next up is another midi skirt. I found the midi skirt jackpot. I bought one, two, four midi skirts, five midi skirts. This one's a little bit of a more basic one, but I think it's always good to have like a basic classic color midi skirt in your wardrobe. It's just black, but it's got belt loops, almost kind of like a suede material. This is the tag check. And it's got like this, this little slit in the back. So I love the details of it. And I love that it has belt loops because I love a good belt accessory. It completely pulls a look together. I used to not be an accessories girl and I've realized the power, the absolute power that accessories hold. So this is super exciting to find. And it was, price check is a $7.79. So like, you can imagine this was probably like at least $45 new at the store at the time. Next, I found this other, again, another midi skirt. It's like this knit blue color. I thought it'd be perfect for like more like lounging around the house when I don't feel like wearing pants in the summer. It like breathes pretty well. It's just H&M, but the material seems really nice and it's nice and loose and it's almost like a blanket. So that'll be nice to have on like maybe like a kind of chilly summer day. I also have a lot of blue in my wardrobe already. It's got a little slit up the side. Cute little basic. I have been absolutely loving the cargo skirt trend lately. I found the perfect medium rise cargo midi skirt in this like light tan color. Like it is a little bit okay ignore the wrinkles i had it in the bag but and it's got the slit up the middle so you can have a little like you can wear colored tights with it like i have so many ideas for this skirt it's got belt loops on it and in the back and i love this type of trim i love like how it's like not so such a thick band price check is at 7.79 tag check is the limited so this is a nice find and I cannot wait to style this either. This next skirt, I have no words for. It is, I, I, I don't have words. Like, I'm just like. <laughs> it's real leather. Look at the stitching on this. Patchwork leather midi skirt. Now this one was a little bit pricey, but I know, you know that this type of, like how, with how good this material is, which the tag says 100% leather. It's like, I'm assuming that this, oh, let's do a tag check. Margaret Godfrey. And I almost didn't put it in my cart because it says size 10 and I'm like a size six or a size eight, depending. We have a slit detail on the back, like so gorgeous now i can definitely see this being more of a fall piece as well just because of the color of it and leather but i couldn't pass it up and this one price check was 19.99 so it was the most expensive item in this haul but in my opinion it was so worth it this is a quality quality piece okay, moving on to 
The Pants, Ralph Lauren, 100% wool dress pants with like a flared leg. I have been having the best luck finding quality Ralph Lauren pieces at the thrift store. Is it Ralph Lauren or is it Ralph Lauren? I don't know, I think it's Ralph Lauren, but make it sound fancier. But it's 100% wool and I looked up what these cost now online and they're a $200 pair of pants, $150 to $200 pair of pants for $12.99. You can't beat the thrift. You really can't. I just, they're the perfect little, they've got a little pleat in the back here. Love that detail. One pocket, belt loops. And they are long enough for me. I'm like, I have like a shorter torso and like longer legs. So like, it's hard for me to find pants that actually reach the bottom of my legs, but I'm not, the legs aren't my legs, the legs, someone else's legs. But sometimes long sizes are a little bit too long for my legs. So, it's hard to find like a good in between because regular sizes can sometimes be too short too. Gotta love women's sizing. <laughs> I've been wanting a pair of dark wash jeans and I haven't been able to find any yet. So I came across this pair at the thrift store and I tried them on and they're very stretchy and they're good. The brand is Denizen by Levi's. So I don't know if this is like an older brand or not, but they're just a simple dark wash boot cut jean. I love boot cut. I think that they are very flattering on me and I just like a boot cut or a flared leg jean the best. So these aren't anything too crazy, but they're gonna be a staple in my wardrobe. I already wore these once, so I took the tag off, but the price was $13.99 for this pair of jeans. Next pair of jeans aren't really too crazy either, but they're just like a mom jean capri cut from Airy, Aeropostale, not Airy, um, which I used to be such an Aeropostale girly back in the day. Aeropostale, American Eagle, they have really quality stuff. Um, so I, when I found these, I was excited. They are the mom jean, if you can see what it says there, which means that they're kind of high-waisted. Um, but I thought these were cute for like a summer, summer night casual vibe. Something to put with like some cute kitten heels um, to go out in so and they have just the right like bagginess to them So I really love these and I love the color and the wash. I do love a good light wash jean Okay, now we're moving on to the tops I've also been looking for a lot of crochet stuff and I found a couple crochet or knit things. I found this gorgeous guest brand knit lavender Turtleneck sweater top you can see it's guess tag check this one was $7.99. I absolutely love this lavender color. Like I'm literally obsessed. I've been obsessed with this color for the past year. I just think it's so pretty. And this is like a perfect pastel for spring. And I have a midi skirt that's this purple color that will go so well with it. And oh my God, I can't wait to style this. Okay, this next one, I guess can be considered a little bit of a basic, but I think that it's so cute and the brand is really well known. We have this black shoulder cutout turtleneck going on here. And the brand is DKNY. It's got this cute little metal tag, I guess you could call it on there. So you know it's like, it's quality. And I know I already have like a million black turtlenecks in different like styles and forms, but I just love the little cutout shoulder on this. And I think that it adds just like a special little something to like a basic. And I've actually been looking online at cutout type clothes because I wanted basics that have a little bit more of an elevated look to them. So this was like this was a perfect find and I it's gonna go so well with the stuff that I already have. I just thought this shirt was the most adorable thing, especially for going to the beach in the summer. It's this like crochet shirt vibe, little bit 70s. It's definitely like maybe an early 2000, mid 2000s piece. Maybe not, maybe, it's, but uh, the tag, I don't know what that is. I don't know if the brand is called one, two, three, and this was only $3.99. This was some flared jeans and a little belt over such a 70s vibe or just this and like a skirt to go to the beach, like so cute. And for like those really hot summer days. 
I love the way the sleeves are. Look at the little scallop hem. The color is a beautiful neutral. The white stands out against it so well. It's got a very interesting like hemline, which you don't really find. It's got this high low thing going on here. This might be a little bit interesting to try to style other than putting like a bathing suit top underneath it because it's like see-through. But let's see if we can find something to make it work with like, like a normal spring day. We'll try that in the styling. One of the last things I got was a, like, this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Some people are going to think this is so boring, but I, I love when something has a texture to it. I just feel like texture is really elevated piece, even if it's like a like basic color. I found this turtleneck. It's like an oatmeal color, but I just, I love this cream color. I feel like ink goes so well with so many things. And I love a good chunky like turtleneck thing that's going on here. Look at the material. Like look at the um, texture. It's like these thick corduroy groovy type knit situation going on. Brand check is Jones, New York. And this was $6.99. But it's like a cute oversized basic. This is perfect for like, just like wanting to be cozy outside in the evening with them, some thumb. <laughs> with some cropped jeans and barefoot in your backyard with a book. So cute. Last but not least, so incredibly excited that I found this. It is this gorgeous Whiting and Davis Co. chain mail link bag. And they're known for their chain link purses and tops. This was $7.99. And the ones that I looked up online went anywhere from $30 to over $120. So. This is a great find. I also love chain, chain mail link or whatever the heck it's called, chain link um, material because it's like almost like a, it's like a soft, smooth metal experience. I can't explain it really, but um, I think it's so like groovy. It's so disco and this gold will go with anything and it doesn't look like the cheap kind that you can just get from Shein. It's so gorgeous wait did i show you guys the tag in here hold on look at the little detail wedding and davis it kind of looks like the warner brothers like movie thing in my opinion but it's cute and this tag you can see whiting and davis it was made in the usa okay now my favorite part let's style these 